Hello, I'm Maria from Thrishton's Homeschool Life. Today is Vlogmas Day 3. So what we're going to do today, we're going to have a look at my Christmas trees and I'm going to tell you um, about the ornaments, well, some of them on the Christmas trees and what they mean to me. I've got two trees uh, that are decorated in the house. I do have a fibre optic tree, but I've not got that up at the moment. And we have numerous trees outside, but we'll save that for another day. But yeah, I'm going to show you two trees inside and I'm going to show you what's on them because I've already decorated them. And I'm going to tell you about different ornaments and some of the ones and what they mean to me. So we'll go and have a look at the trees. So I've come into the hallway first of all because Dean's cleaning the fish tank out where the big tree is. And that's got most of the things on I want to show you, but it's refilling the fish tank and it's sloshing the water in. So I said, I'll come into the hallway and just show you this one first while he just finishes filling the fish tank. So this is the one we've got in the hallway. I'll just switch around so you can see it better, I think. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Get me out the picture. Um, I'll just run down. Actually, I just want to pop the lights on for you. Right, I'm going to tell you about the lights first of all. I just remembered, pop them on. I hope you can see it well enough. I can't go back any further. I've got a wall against me. It's in the right position because it's at the foot of the stairs. So anyway, the lights. The lights I've got on this tray. It's 80 musical flashing lights and they come from my mum's. Um, my mum passed away at the beginning of 2015 and, um, well, I inherited a lot of Christmas decorations <laughs> and the lights were one of them. Well, they've been sat in a box because my mum was very meticulous about packing things very tidy and everything and everything had its own place. So they were packed neatly in a box. I bought the box home and I plugged them in and they worked and listened to the tunes and thought how nice they were. And I packed them back in the box because I hadn't got nowhere to put them. I mean, when you see my main tree in a minute, you, some of you have probably seen it. You've perhaps seen it in the distance when I've been filming recently. But they won't fit on there. You need an awful lot of lights on the main tree. This has only got 80 lights. And at the moment, they don't go round this tree. I've only got them at the front. But by the by, <laughs> the lights... Every year, every Christmas, when the Christmas decorations then came out, when I inherited them and the lights, well, all the decorations come out of Christmas, obviously they were packed away with all the others. And I'd fetch them out and I'd look at the box, I'd plug them in just to listen to it. And I can remember the lights being on my mum's tray. She got a small tray in her back parlour and they were on there because she lived out in the countryside and it, they were by a window facing the fields because she thought that looked nice if she was out at the back and they twinkled there so I thought about it every year I'd plug them in I shut my eyes and I thought about the tree so last year I did the same again when all the decorations come out I fetched them out of the box plugged them in and listened to them thought about the tree they were on at my mum's and then I suddenly thought to myself I'm going to get a tree for them so I couldn't get one my mum has quite a smaller one than this one it stood on a table and I hadn't really got anywhere I could get a, ta um, a tree to go on a table like that so I got this tree I just picked it up cheap I think probably B&M somewhere they were selling moth I think it was only something like £7.99 because it was quite close to Christmas at this point and I just suddenly decided I want to use those lights so I picked up some baubles there's no special well there's a couple on there but most of them are just baubles I picked up in a box to go with this tree that I'd picked up and um, the ribbon round it came from a garden centre and so I put my mum's lights on it and I love it, especially when it's dark. I mean, obviously in the light now, it doesn't do it justice because you can't see it twinkle the same. I don't have the music playing on it and I don't have it flashing, but uh, I just, when I plug it in, it comes on. So it just came on as I plugged it in. But I sort of took it up because it's got a few different settings. You can have them flash without the music or you can have them static, but I kept it static. So yeah, that's, 
the special things on this tree is the lights like i say the ornaments most of them are baubles but the star there and there's another silver 3d sort of star there you can see in silver they were off my mum's tree so they were my mum's and these crystal icicles which do look really nice at night with the lights on they twinkle through them they are proper crystal um, they came from the Chutby Crystal Factory in Staffordshire and that's closed down now but yeah the proper crystal there's about 20 to 30 probably on the tree just going through the tree but they belong to my auntie and my auntie passed away well, this Christmas it'll be two years and I had the crystals from my auntie but I've got more of them yet to show you but these on this tree were from my auntie's tree because I know that because they were wrapped in a tissue that said crystals for Maria <laughs> so I unwrapped them and put them on this tree so I know these were my auntie's the crackers are just crackers that I've put on and the baubles the normal round baubles I just bought to go with this tree last year so I could put the lights on I specifically bought it because I wanted the lights I just didn't want them to keep sitting in a box me taking them out every year and just thinking about it and then putting them back in the box so I specifically bought the tree so I could have my mum's lights and that's what I've got now if we go right to the top of the tree I've also got one of my mum's angels so this was one of my mum's newer angels although it looks not so new it's more vintage but it is vintage but the reason I say newer is because my mum had a really old one very old one that she passed to me when I first got married and it wore out in the end I haven't got it no more and that was a proper um, that porcelain one but we've got this one my mum then had this one and um, this was my mum's angel I'm not going to touch it because it took me ages to try and get it on and when people walk through the hallway I'm like don't stamp too heavy <laughs> because the angel will fall off because then just balance because it's such a pointed top but I can just balance it on so yeah the angel was my mum's off my mum's tree and the lights were my mum's off her um, second tree in her parlour and they do play music so yeah I won't play the music to you but it's just like um, Christmas songs like riding through the snow on the one or soap and sleigh you know <laughs> all the different songs like that different um, Christmas songs so this is the tree that we've got in the hallway and they're the things on it that are special to me and because of the lights is a reason I've got the tree if I hadn't got the lights I wouldn't have got the tree and it took me a few years to get the tree for me to take the lights out and to say you know actually I, I want them up so yeah last year I did that and here it is so we're going to take a look at the big tree now shall we so we're in the living room where the main tree is see why 80 lights can't fit on here <laughs> it's bigger than me I mean the stars nearly touching the ceiling We've, well it would do if we hadn't bent a fair bit of it over at the top to get the star on to secure it but yeah I couldn't get 80 lights on here no chance I mean in the hallway it's only on the front of them because I can't get them all the way down from top to bottom but this tree, now this one's pre-lit anyway because there's no way I want to mess around putting lights on it. So it's a pre-lit Christmas tree. Um, we bought it a few years back. In fact, me and Sean went into the shop and we said to Dean, are we going to get a Christmas tree because our other one, we'd had it donkey's years and it worn out. So I said, we're going to go in and we're going to pick a Christmas tree. Well, we picked the most expensive one in the shop and Sean picked one as well <laughs> that wasn't in the bargain but <laughs> that's what we did and Sean's still got hers upstairs as well lit up she's got red berry lights on hers and flags country flags <laughs> don't ask but yeah um, special things on this tree let's see what we can zoom in and see right um, like I say I inherited a lot of my mum's decorations so we're looking at some now we've got santa's head there that's a nice one because that 
actually belonged to my dad and my dad had that one and my dad's been dead oh dear a long time since 1995 so that was my dad's that's my mum's that's quite nice I like that that's one of my mum's um, these little little um, poinsettia if that's how you say it balls they're really nice I like these there was a mixture this one was my mum's but I've got one here that was my auntie's so I had that one as well and I've got a nice little tartan one I think that was my auntie's up here look that was my auntie's the only thing with ribbon it always seems to cut across my favourite ornaments and I put the ribbon on last but it still does it um, we'll start go back to the bottom as you can see I have crackers on my trees and I've got chocolates on this tree another thing I do like I've got one down there but we'll look at one further on it's a nutcrackers now they're a mixture of mine and my auntie's this gold one was my auntie's but I've got some round there that you pull on the string at the bottom and they actually open the mouth like a nutcracker and the legs and arms move they were mine my most favorite thing is a nutcracker I love nutcrackers We've also got a fair amount of robins on the tree. Now they're not mine. I'm not so keen on birds um, indoors on your trees and things, but these were my mum's and my mum absolutely love robins. Everywhere at Christmas, a tree was full of robins and a house was full of holly from the holly tree in the garden. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. I have had to be careful and keep them a bit higher up because some of them look a bit realistic and uh, the cat has a go at them. You can see there it's had a bit of a ruffling. <laughs> so there's another one at the top up there. So yeah, the cats do get them. I did have a pair of pheasants once, ornamental pheasants, with like um, feathers and things on them. And they used to sit right at the bottom under there. But the cat torn to pieces, thought it was real and used it like prey, tried to eat them. So I haven't got them no more. Um, down here behind more crystal icicles in fact i'll tell you about the icicles on this tree these are a mixture of mine and my mum's a lot of them were mine but i did have some of my mum's as well me and one of my brothers split them between us they drip right the way through front to back all the way down although i'm going up but i should go all the way down <laughs> Um, yeah, right the way through. We're probably talking, there's about, I don't know, 150 to 200 icicles on there. We have three massive tin falls. Well, two tins in a box. All wrapped in tissues and packed away. How they keep from breaking, I don't know. We have had breakages over the years, but yeah. They look lovely. The lights on this tree are plain. They're just um, white. Like, well, like soft white, which looks a bit goldyish, but they call it a soft white. And they look lovely when the icicles twinkle it all at night. It looks really nice. So as I was saying, um, behind these icicles, we've got another crystal bell there. That's... Um, it does actually ring. Don't want to pull it too much. I have to put it back in place. That one is... A Swarovski crystal and that's what my daughter bought me every Christmas she bought me a Swarovski Swarovski how do you say it a crystal ornament from a tree uh, there's another one somewhere there I think that must be an acorn that's really pretty so we've got an acorn one there another Swarovski one I've got another one but I've not put it on the tree this year because it's like a little reindeer with antlers which are all crystal but it's got room for a photo in it and I never did put a photo in it last year so I've not bothered putting it on this year because I haven't got a photo in it so yeah that's that there's another one of those little round balls there now um, let me see if I can see the red one anywhere my red Santa I'm not sure where he is I've just showed you that Santa, but I've got another one that was my dad's. He may be around the side somewhere. I'm not sure 
where he is. That's one of my mum's ornaments. That one's really nice. And they all come in their own little boxes because my mum always bought these expensive ornaments. The trombone thing, that's one of mine. I've got a set of musical instruments um, throughout the tree. There's various things, I think, up here. You can see one as a musical note. A few of them. I haven't put them all on because I don't like to overdo a tree. And got bells, got quite a few of these bells that are just hooked on. And little drums. Um, got little baubles that look like this. this is a set of six of them. They were my mum's. Um, and this was my mum's. This one I look for all the time and make sure it's safe. It's got a little soft body but a porcelain face, little porcelain angel. And that's my favourite. I think that is my favourite. Because when I put the tree out, the first thing I always say is the little porcelain angel in there. And so she has pride of place. She's sort of flying down the tree and I can see her from where I sit on the chair. So that is my favourite. That is definitely my most favourite one on the tree. Um, this one here, this silver Santa, he looks very old and even like it's falling to bits a bit. <laughs> this one was one of my aunties. She passed away, I think a year after my mum did. And it was one my mum bought back from my aunties. So that was one of hers. Um, got some more drums up there. They were all mine, the drums were. I've got the odd bauble in there. So I'm scanning through now to see if there's anything else in there. So this one has got all special things and there's another nutcracker down there. That was my auntie's. And another one of my mum's baubles in there. They were a pack of six. They're nice because they're sculptured. I like them. And the bells down there, they were mine. So, and those, I just showed you, there's two of them. They come in a pack with two. I don't know where the red Santa, there's a little silver Santa I've just shown you. Um, this one here. There's one that matches it in red, and the red one was my dad's. And I know it's on the tree because I put it on, but it may be further around the side somewhere. I've got Sean looking now, she's at the side, looking where it is. <laughs> hello, Sean. Just say hello to everyone. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, she's looking now where it is. Oh, there's one I've missed out that was my mum's there. And another angel. I have to be careful with her. She's got like a plastic head but a foil body, there's no substance, just foil. So I have to be very careful because her head twizzles easily and I keep thinking, oh, is it coming off? I don't think it is, but um, I have to be careful with that one. We have to handle it with care when we take it out, just not to pull it too hard or it might come off. And then I've got the star at the top, away at the top. Dean has to put that up there. Sometimes I stand on the chair to do that. I'm taking you up, I've got a selfie stick at the moment, so I'm taking you up with a selfie stick so you can see it. But I'm nowhere near it, there's no way I can reach up there. But that was my mum's star, that was off one of her trees. So I like that and that goes up on there and it fits nice on this tree. Have you found it, Sean? Is that it? Oh it is, yeah, I thought that was a chocolate. <laughs> so, yeah, my dad's other one is behind the ribbon <laughs> so it's there i knew it was there somewhere it actually looks newer than the other one but i don't know so yeah that's true i can't see anything else on there that i could tell you about or tell a lie right in here there's a little foam bell <laughs> it's hard to get little foam bell sean made it when she used to go to school with a picture of sean and oh cute <laughs> now she's embarrassed not really. <laughs> oh not really that's all right then we'll get the baby photos out and show everyone so yeah that goes on every year that's a special one there is one on there as well that um lisa made for sean when she was born and yet to put stickers on saying baby's first christmas and a name on it because Sean's got a name that's sort of not run-of-the-mill, um, you can't just buy things 
in the shop with a name on so she'd made one so yeah i think that's all in there there's such a lot on this tray there is and there isn't sometimes I look at it i think it's bare and other times I look at it and think oh that's so and so and this is such and such you know so yeah most of the decorations on this tray do mean something and the like little stories behind them like things being belonging to my dad and and that belonged to, was my dad's sister's and I remember my mum bringing it back and my dad's sister had lots of things like that in a box lots of Christmas decorations she loved Christmas and my dad did because they didn't have Christmas really a, as children because they didn't have the greatest upbringing but well their mum looked after them but they didn't have a dad he'd left them and it was hard in the times that they grew up we're talking the 30s and 40s so they loved Christmas Christmas was special to them so I like to keep the ornaments that I have got but yeah I've not put nothing under the tree this year because the cats attack it <laughs> so I've not gone under it but so far they've not bothered with the tree they've sat on the snowy bit a bit and that's it so yeah that's a tree so that's the two trees and the ornaments on them and what they mean to me and like I say some things I bought myself and some things tell a story because they belong to family members and I kept them and like the tree in the hallway came into existence because of the lights that my mum had otherwise I'd have not got them there'd be no tree in the hallway we wouldn't bother so yeah that's that for today um, tomorrow now will be vlogmas number four I'm gonna lose track of counting them aren't I so tomorrow will be number four so if you'd like to join me for number four I look forward to having you with me <laughs> bye for now